Hello student, welcome to my channel Learn Physics. Today I will be discussing the J main paper of 25th January first half that is 9 am to 12 pm. I have already discussed the solution of J main 30th January, 24th January first half and 24th January second half. Now these discussions will be extremely beneficial for you to assess yourself for the next level of entrance examination. Now let's start. First of all, question number one. A car travels a distance of x with a speed v1 and then, then same distance x with the speed v2 in the same direction. The average speed of the car is. Look at this for equal speed for equal distance. Average speed is this is the 2 v1 v2. Whole divide by this is the v1 plus v2 okay now look at this option a is correct okay now question number two in young double slit experiment the position of fifth bright fringe from the central fringe is five centimeter the distance between the slit and screen is one meter and and the wavelength of the monom and the wavelength of light used is equal to 600 nanometer the separation between the slit is now the data given here the order of the now the now the data given are the order of the fringe is 5 okay now capital d that is distance of the screen from the sources this is the one meter okay now lambda is equal to look at this this is the 600 nanometer that is 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter okay now we have to calculate small d now look at this this is the y equal to n lambda capital d by small d okay now look at this this is the 5 into 10 to the power this is the minus 2 okay now this is the 5 into this lambda equal to this is the 600 nanometer that is 600 into 10 to the power minus 9 d is the 1 this divided by this is the small d now from this condition small d equal to look at this this is the look at this this is the 3000 so this is the 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by this is the 5 into 10 to the power this is the minus 2 therefore look at this this is the look at this this is the look at this this is the 300 by 5 so this is the 60 into 10 to the power minus 6 Therefore, this is the 60 micrometer is the distance between the two sources. Okay. So, look at this. The option 2 is correct. Okay. Look at this. This is the question number 3. Assume that the earth is a solid sphere of uniform density and a tunnel is dug along its diameter throughout the earth. It is found that when a particle is released in this tunnel, it executes a simple harmonic motion. The mass of the particle is 100 gram. The time period of the motion of the particle will be. Look at this. The time period for the, the, the time period of oscillation in the tunnel dug through the center of the earth. This equals to t equals to root over 2 pi root over r by g. Now look at this. This is the 2 pi and r by g. Now this is the 2 pi r is equal to this is the 6400 into 10 to the power 3 meter divided by 10. Okay. So look at this. This is the 2 pi 
into 800 okay so this is the 1600 pi second okay this is equal to almost 1.41 hour okay now look at this 1.41 for 1.41 hour that means 1 hour 24 minute okay understood next now question number 4 in an electromagnetic wave in transporting the energy in the negative z direction at a certain point and certain time and the direction of electric field of the wave is along the y axis so look at this e vector is equal to this is the e j cap okay now what will be the direction of magnetic field now we have to calculate the direction of magnetic field where direction of propagation s vector this is the negative z axis that is minus k cap okay you know s vector proportionate this is the e vector cross b vector okay now look at this s vector is the minus k cap proportionate e vector is the e j cap cross now you know j cross i this equal to minus k so the direction of magnetic field is directed along the positive x axis so option 2 is correct okay understood next a carno engine with efficiency 50 percent takes heat from the source at 600 k in order to increase the efficiency to 70 percent keeping the temperature of the sink same the new temperature of the source now we have to calculate temperature of the sink now you know efficiency eta equal to this is the 1 minus t2 by t1 now look at this the efficiency of carnot engine eta equal to this is the 1 minus this is the t2 by t1 where t2 is the temperature of the sink and t1 is the temperature of the source look at this here eta equal to this is the 50 by 100 okay now this equals to 1 minus this is the t2 divided by look at this this is the 600 okay so look at this this is the 600 okay therefore look at this t2 by 600 this equal to 1 minus half that is this is the half therefore look at this t2 equal to t2 equal to this is the 300 kelvin now we have to calculate the temperature of the source when efficiency is 70 percent now look at this so this is the 70 by 100 this equal to 1 minus this is the t2 t2 is the 300 kelvin divided by t1 okay now look at this this is the 300 divided by t1 this equal to look at this now look at this this is the 1 minus this is the 7 by 10 7 by 10 means this is the 3 by 10 okay so look at this now 1 minus 7 by 10 equal to 3 by 10 therefore t1 is equal to look at this this is the 1000 kelvin look at this option c is correct okay next now question number 6 a solenoid of 1200 turn is wound uniformly in a single layer on a glass tube 2 meter long and 0 0.2 meter in diameter. The magnetic intensity at the center of the, the, the magnitude of intensity at the center of the solenoid when current 2 ampere is flow through it. Now look at this magnetic intensity H this equal to n into i now n is a number of turn per unit length look at this total number of turn this is the 1200 length to meter so this is the 1200 by 2 and current is also 2 ampere so look at this this is the 1200 ampere per meter is the intensity of magnetic field at the center so look at this 
option one is correct. Now look at this. There is a matching type question. List two or list two. Surface tension. The dimension of surface tension empty minus two. Look at this. The dimension of surface tension. This is the empty minus two. So look at this. This is the A. Okay. The dimension of pressure. M L minus 1 T minus 2. So look at this, this is the B. Okay. The dimension of viscosity M L minus 1 T minus 1. So look at this, this is the C. And and this is the and this is the impulse kg meter per second. So this is the D. Therefore, look at this A4. 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 B3. B3. C C1. Now C1 is the option 3 correct. Okay. Understood. Next. Now question number 8. A parallel plate capacitor. A parallel plate capacitor has plate area 40 centimeter square. So look at this. A equal to this is the 40 centimeter square. Okay. Now. <coughs> And plate separation is the 2 millimeter. Therefore, here D equal to this is the 2 millimeter. Okay. The space between the plate is filled with a dielectric constant of thickness 1 millimeter and dielectric constant 5. The capacitance of the system is. Now look at this. In the case of look at this. Suppose this is a look at this. This is the capacitor. Now, half portion is filled with a dielectric medium or dielectric constant K. K. So, this is the K equal to 5. Now, uh, re the rest half is the IR. So, look at this C equal to this is the epsilon naught A. This divided by this is the D1 by K1. Okay. Plus this is the D2 by K2. Okay. No problem. Now look at this epsilon naught. This is the epsilon naught A. A is the 40 into 10 to the power minus 4. Okay. Now look at this. This is the D1. This is the 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 5 plus 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1. So look at this. This is the now look at this. This is the 4 epsilon naught. This divided by this is the LCM 5 and this is the 1 plus 5. So look at this. This is the 20 by 6, that is 10 by 3, 10 by 3 epsilon naught. Now look at this 10 by 3. So option 1 is correct. Okay. Now question number 9. An object of mass 8 kg is hanging from one end of a uniform rod. CD of mass 2 kg and length 1 meter is pivoted at, at the point C on a vertical wall shown in figure. Look at this. This is the vertical wall shown in figure. Okay. It is supported by a cable AB such that the system is in equilibrium. The tension in the cable is. Now look at this. Now look at this. The forces acting on the rod. Look at this. Here forces acting at the midpoint, this is the weight of the rod. Now weight of the rod is equal to 2 kg. So look at this, this is the 20 Newton. Now here load attached at this end 8 kg. So this is the 80 Newton. Now look at this tension of the string, this equal to T. Now look at this component of this tension along this direction. Look at this, this is the T sine 30 degree. Okay. And along this direction, look at this. This is the T cos 30 degree. Okay. And this is the normal reaction Nx. And this is the normal reaction Ny. Okay. Now, considering torque at this point, with, with respect to this point, the torque in the anticlockwise direction is equal to torque in the clockwise direction. So look at this anticlockwise torque by T equal to clockwise torque by. This is the 20 Newton and this is the 80 Newton. Now look at this, the anticlockwise torque. This is the T into half, sine 30 half. And a distance of T from this C end, this is the 60 centimeter. So this is the 0 
Now look at this. The clockwise torque, this is the 80 into 1. Okay. Plus this is the 20 into 0.5. Okay. No problem. 20 into 0.5. Now look at this. This is the T into, this is the 0 0.3. Okay. Now look at this. This is the 80 plus 10. Okay. So this is the 90. Therefore, T equal to this is the look at this T equal to this is the this is the 90 divided by 0 0.3. This is the 300 Newton is the answer. Okay. Now look at this question number 10. T is the time period of simple pendulum on the earth surface. Its time period become xt when it taken to a height of r equal to radius of the earth okay then the value of x will be if l be the effective length of the pendulum then t equals to this is the 2 pi root under l by g now at an altitude r acceleration due to gravity g dash so look at this x t this equal to this is the 2 pi root under this is the root under l by this is the g dash okay so now look the, now look at this x now this is equation number one and this is equation number two now two divided by one equation two divided by equation one okay now you get x equals to this is the g by g dash okay no problem now you know g by g dash this equal to this is the r plus r whole square. Now, this is the root under of, look at this, g, g by g dash. Now, g by g dash is, is equal to, this is the r by, now this is the r plus r by r whole square. Okay, look at this, this whole square root under. Therefore, now root is omitted. Therefore, this is the 2. Therefore, x equals to 2. Okay, now look at this. This is the option. Now, option 3 is correct. Okay. Now, question number 11. Now, in an LC oscillation, if the value of inductance and capacitance becomes twice and eight times respectively, then the resultant frequency of oscillation becomes, look at this. Omega is the initial frequency of oscillation. So look at this. This is the omega x to root under LC. Okay. Now finally, omega dash. Look at this. Inductance increases to two times. And capacitance increases to eight times. So look at this. This is the 2L into this is the 8C. Okay. Now look at this. This is the 1 by 4 into 1 by root under lc so this is this is the omega by 4 so look at this this is the one fourth is the answer okay no problem next now question number 12 electron beam used to an used in an electron microscope when accelerated by a voltage of 20 kilovolt has a de Broglie wavelength lambda naught if the voltage increases to 40 kilovolt, then de Broglie wavelength will be. Look at this. We know the lambda is equal to 1 by this is the root under V. Now V is increased to 20 volt to 40 volt. So look at this. Lambda dash becomes this is the lambda by root. Okay. Now look at this. Option C is correct. Look at this. This is the question number 13 and this is the matching type question. Now look at this. This is a semi-circular. We have to calculate magnetic field at this point. Now magnetic field due to semi-circular conductor at the center is equal to this is the mu naught i by 4r. So this is the d. Now look at this a. Here magnetic field due to straight wire is in the direct state this is the outwardly but along but, but due to this circular current this is the downward so there are two opposite magnetic field look at this here look at this in this case there are two opposite magnetic field 
that is why your negative sign arise so this is the a okay now look at this in this case look at this here now look at this this is the semicircular now look at this the semi infinite length this also the semi infinite length and this is the semicircular conductor so look at this here magnetic field this becomes so magnetic field in this conductor this equal to this this so c is the look at this so this is the b okay therefore this is the obviously c okay now now look at this this is the one c look at this c1 a3 a3 b4 b4 and d2 so this is the option a is correct okay now look at this question number 14 this is the assertion reasoning type question Photodiode is used in polar bias usually in measuring the light intensity. No, 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 no. Photodiode always connected in reverse bias. Okay. Now look at this. For a for a PN junction diode at applied voltage V, the current in the polar bias is more than the current in the reverse bias. So look at this. This statement is correct. So, statement, so assertion A wrong, region, region R correct. Look at this A false, B true. So, option 4 correct. Now, question number 15. The root mean square velocity of molecule of gas is, look at this, the root mean square velocity C proportionate, you know, always root under T. Now, look at this, proportional to P, no. Proportional to root 2. Okay. So now question number 16. In an uniform metallic wire, there is a current of 2 ampere when 3.4 volt battery is connected across it. The mass of uniform metallic wire is 8.92 into 10 to the the mass of uniform metallic wire is 8.92 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg. Density is 8.92 into 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube. And resistivity is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meter. The length of the wire is. Now look at this. R equals to this is the rho L by A. Now just we have to calculate length of the wire. So look at this multiplying here L and D. So, look at this. We have to also multiply L and D in the numerator also. So, look at this. This indicates mass. So, look at this. R equal to rho L square D divided by mass M. Now, look at this. Resistance R equal to V by I. V is the 3.4 volt. I is the 2. So, look at this. This is the 3.4 divided by. Okay. No problem. Now, rho equal to, this is the 1.7 in 10 to the power minus 8. So, look at this. This is the 1.7 into 10 to the power, this is the minus 8. Now, this is the L square, okay? Now, look at this density. Look at this density is the 8.92 into 10 to the power 3. So, this is the 8.92 into 10 to the power minus 3, okay? No problem. Divided by mass. What is the mass? Look at this 8.5 in 10 to the power minus 3. Look at this mass is the 8.92 into mass is the look at this mass is the 8.92 in 10 to the power minus 3 kg. So look at this. This is the 8.92 into 10 to the power minus 3. Look at this, this and this cancel out. Okay. Now so look at this. This is the look at this 1.7, 1.7 cancel out. Okay, so look at this L square into this is the 10 to the power minus 2, this equal to 1. So look at this L equal to this is the 10. Okay, so look at this option C is correct. Okay, next. Now question number 17. A ball filled with very hot soup cools from 98 degree Celsius to 80 degree Celsius in 2 minutes. So look at this, the rate of cooling, this is the 98 minus, this is the 
86 divided by 2 degree per Celsius into minute. No problem. When temperature of the room is this case to 22 degree Celsius. Look at this rate of cooling. This is the K into look at this, this plus this by 2. Look at this 98 divided by 86 whole divided by 2. So look at this, this is the 98 plus 86 whole divided by 2 minus room temperature. So this is the 22. Okay. Now how long it take to cool from 75 to 69. Now 75 minus 69 this divided by T this equal to now look at this this is the 75 plus 69 by 2 whole divided by this uh, minus 22 this into k okay no problem now look at this 98 look at this 98 divided by 86 so look at this is the 12 12 by 2 this is the 6 therefore look at this 6 equal to this is the k into this is the 92 minus 22 okay now 92 minus 22 so this is the 70 therefore k equal to this is the 6 by 70 now put the value of k here look at this this is the 6 by 70 now look at this this is the 6 by t okay and this is the k into look at this this is the 72 minus 22 so this is the 50 okay now look at this the value of k is 6 by 70 okay look at this this is the 6 by 70 okay now look at this 6 and this 6 cancel out so t equal to this is the 7 by 5 okay so this is the 1.4 so option 2 is correct okay Look at this, a car is moving with a constant speed of 20 meter per second in a circular horizontal track of radius 40 meter. The bob is suspended from the roof of the car by a massless string. By a massless string. The angle made by the string with the vertical. Now look at this, here vertical force is the weight. So look at this, 10 theta, look at this, this is the horizontal force divided by vertical force now horizontal force is the m v square by r that is the centrifugal force and vertical force this is the weight mg now look at this this and this cancel out now look at this so this is the v square by rg okay no problem now v is the look at this v is the 20 meter per second so look at this this is the 20 into 20 now look at this r is the 40 and g is the 10 so look at this this is the 1 400 by 400 this equal to 1 therefore theta equal to pi by 4 okay so so option 4 is correct now look at this a message signal of frequency 5 megahertz is used to modulate the carrier signal of 2 megahertz Okay, the bandwidth of M, the band, the bandwidth for amplitude of modulation. Look at this. The band, the bandwidth is the twice the frequency of signal. So look at this. This is the two omega m. So this is the ten kilohertz is the bandwidth. Okay, no problem. Look at this ten kilohertz. So option two is correct. Now question number twenty. The ratio of the density of oxygen nucleus and helium nucleus. Okay, nuclear density constant and ratio is the 1 is to 1. So, option 2 is correct. Okay. Now, the distance between the two consecutive points with phase difference 60 degree in a wave of frequency 500 hertz is 6 meter. So, look at this path is equal to this is the 6 meter. Okay. Now, Look at this here phase difference. This is the 60 degree. So this is the pi by 3. Therefore, pi by 3, this equals to 2 pi. This is the x divided by lambda. Now, what is lambda? Look at this here. Here x is the 6 meter. So 2 pi into 6. 
divided by lambda. So look at this from this equation lambda is equal to this is the 36 meter. Okay, no problem. This is the 6 into 2, 2 into 3, 36 meter. Now the velocity of the wave this is the frequency into lambda. So f lambda is the answer. Now this is the 500 and this is the 500 and this is the 36. So the velocity is 18000 meter that is 18 kilometer. Okay. Now look at the equivalent resistance. Look at this, this 3 ohm, this 2 ohm. Look at this, this is the conductor. So look at this, these two points are sorted. Okay. Now this is, this resistance is the meaningless. So look at this, this is the, look at this, this is the 2 ohm and this is the 2 ohm, these two are parallel. So parallel means 2 into 2 by 2 plus 1, this is the 1 ohm. So 1 ohm, 6 ohm and 3 ohm. So 10 ohm is the equivalent resistance. Okay. Now look at this, this is the load elongation curve. Look at this, the elongation load curve makes an angle 45 degree with the horizontal. So look at this, 10 45 degree, this equal to, this is the elongation divided by, this is the load F. Now we have to calculate the Young modulus. Now Young modulus Y, this equal to, this is the, look at this, this is the force into length whole divided by this is the x into area of cross section okay now look at this 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 ratio is equal to 1 now what is length look at this length is equal to 62.8 meter so look at this this is the 62.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter now area of cross section is the diameter 4 millimeter so look at this radius is the 2 millimeter. So look at this, this is the pi into 4 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. So look at this, this and this, this is the 20. Okay. So look at this, this is the 5 into 10 to the power 4. Okay. Now young modulus is the x into 10 to the power 4. So look at this, this is the 5. Okay, look at this. I seem with the moment of inertia of a circular disk along its axis CM passing through the center and perpendicular to the plane of the disk. AB in its moment of inertia about axis AB perpendicular to the plane and parallel to the axis CM at a distance 2 by 3R. Okay, now where R is the radius of the disk ratio of IAB and ICM. Now look at this, first of all ICM, you know ICM, this is the half m r square, okay. Now look at this IAB, IAB is the, look at this, this is the 1 by 2 m r square, okay. Plus this is the m into, this is the 2 by 3 r whole square, okay. Now look at this, this is the MR square, okay, plus, now, now look at this, this is the MR square into, this is the 18 LCM, now 9 plus 8, so this is the 17, okay, this is the 17, okay, now look at this, this is the 17 by 9 into half MR square, okay, half MR square, so look at this, this is the ICM. Therefore, IAB divided by ICM, okay, ICM, this equal to, this is the 17 is to 9, okay, no problem, this is the 9. Therefore, this is the 17 answer, okay. In an LCS series circuit, capacitance is 62.5 nanofarad. In an LCL series circuit, the capacitance is 62.5 nanofarad and resistance is 50 ohm, is connected to an AC source of frequency 20 kilohertz. Okay. For the maximum value of amplitude of current in the circuit, the value of inductance. So, for a, so this is the resonance condition. 
for maximum amplitude of current that is the resonance condition. In resonance condition, the inductance L equal to this is the omega square into C. Now look at this. This is the 1 by omega square. Look at this. Frequency is the 2 kilohertz. So look at this. This is the 2 pi into this is the 2000 into 2000 whole square. Okay. And look at this. This is the nanofarad. This is the C. So this is the 62.5 into 10 to the power 9 okay no problem this is the magnitude of l now look at this this is the 10 to the power 9 and look at this this is the 4 into 2 into pi square into this is the 10 to the power 6 no problem and this is the 6.25 now look at this 4 into 2 8 8 into 6.25 so this is the 50 therefore look at this this is the 10 so 100 divided by 50 so look at this this is the 2 so 2000 milli henry is the value of inductor so so 2000 milli henry is the value of inductance okay now question number 26 a uniform electric field of 10 newton per coulomb is created between the two parallel charge plates as shown in the figure look at this this is the positive charge and this is the negative charge length of each plate is 10 cm an electron enters the field symmetrically between the two plates with a kinetic energy 0.5 electron volt the length of each plate is this is the 10 centimeter the angle theta look at this the velocity along this direction vx is always constant and this velocity this is the 2 into 2 into energy of electron divided by mass of it okay now look at this this vy now the velocity along this direction is taken as vy this vy this is the acceleration along this direction into t now what is the acceleration look at this this is the electronic charge into field of now this is the electronic charge into electric field look at this this is the capital e divided by mass of electron into time what is the time look at this time is the look at this this is the s by this is the px no problem now look at this here this is the e into this is the electric field this is the 10 newton per coulomb and this is the s divided by this is the m into px no problem okay now angle theta look at this tan theta this equal to this is the vy by vx okay no problem now if we put the value this is the 10 into e into s by m into vx okay and this also the vx so this is the vx square now look at this this is the 10 into e into s this divided by look at this this is the m v x square no problem therefore look at this the tan theta this equal to look at this this is the 10 e s into 2 into half divided by this is the half m v x square now so this is the 5 into electronic charge into distance this distance is the this now this distance is equal to 10 centimeter 10 centimeter means 10 by this is the 100 meter okay now look at this half m vx square that is the energy of electron this is the 0.5 electron volt so look at this this is the 0.5 into look at this this is the 5 electron volt so 5 electron into volt look at this 
this is the 5 electron volt. So, look at this, this and this cancel out. Okay, no problem. So, look at this, this and this, this is the 10. So, look at this, this is the 10 into this is the 10 by this is the 100. So, this is the 1. Now, 10 theta equals to 1, therefore, theta equal to 45 degree. Okay, no problem. So, angle made by the electron when a when when angle look at this the angle made by the electron this is the 45 degree so answer is 45 degree okay understood next now look at this this is the p vector this is the q vector the unit vector in the direction of p vector dot q vector p vector cross q vector now look at this as it is a unit vector, so its magnitude should be 1. Now, look at this magnitude of this vector. This is the 3 plus 1 plus, look at this, this is the 12. So, look at this, this is the 16. Root under 16, that is 1 fourth. So, look at this, the value of x becomes. So, look at this, the magnitude of this is the 4 units. So, value of, as it is, look at this, look at this, the magnitude of this vector, look at this, this is the root under of, this is the 3 plus 1 plus 12. So, look at this, this is the 4. As magnitude of 4 and it is a unit vector, so x should be 4, okay. The wavelength of the radiation emitted is lambda naught when an electron jumps from the Second excited state, wavelength of radiation emitted is lambda naught when electron jumps from the second excited state to first excited state. Now, second excited state that means n equal to 3 and first excited state n equal to 2. Okay, if the electron jumps from the third excited state that is n equal to 4 to second orbit n equal to 2 of the hydrogen atom then wavelength of the radiation is. Now, first case this is the 1 by lambda naught. This equal to this is the r into this is the 1 by 2 square minus this is the 1 by 3 square n equal to 3 to n equal to 2. Now, look at this this is the 4 and this is the 9. So, look at this r into divide by 36 into 9 minus 4. So, look at this, this is the 5R divided by 36. Therefore, look at this R equal to, so R equal to, this is the 5, so R equal to 36 divided by 5 lambda naught is the relation. Now, in the second case, look at this. 1 by lambda dash this equals to this is the r into look at this this is the 1 by 2 square second orbit minus 1 by 4 square fourth orbit okay so look at this this is the 3r by this is the 16 okay now if you put the value of look at this r you get 3 into 36 divide by this is the 16 into 5 into lambda naught. Now, look at this. This is the 36. This is the 16. So, this is the 9. This is the 4. So, look at this. This is the lambda dash equals to 20 lambda naught by 27. So, look at this. Here, x equals to 27. Okay. Understood? Next, look at this. Now, a ray of light incident from air to glass having thickness, this is the root 3 centimeter, and refractive index is the root 2. Angle of incidence of the ray equal to the critical angle of glass air interface. The lateral displacement of the ray when it passes through the plate is. Now, look at this. The critical angle of glass air medium is the sine inverse. This is the 1 by root. So, this is the 45 degree. 
therefore look at this the angle of incidence this angle is equal to 45 degree now we have to calculate the angle of refraction so this is the r okay now look at this <coughs> now now look at now look at this so root 2 equal to this is the sin 45 degree divided by sin r okay now sin r this equal to this is the 1 by root 2 into root 2 okay so this is the half therefore this is the sin 30 degree therefore look at this r equals to 30 degree now look at this this is the 45 now this is the 30 degree the ray passes through this therefore look at this this angle this angle this is the 15 degree therefore deviation is the sine 15 degree this equal to sine of this equal to sine of i minus r into with this is the root 3 divided by cos r okay look at this now this is the sine 15 degree so this is the root 3 into sine 15 degree this is the 0 0.26 and look at this this is the cos 3 degree so this is the root 3 by 2 so look at this this is the 2 and this is in centimeter unit so look at this this and this cancel out so the deviation is look at this 0 point this is the 5 two centimeter that means 52 into 10 to the power minus 2 centimeter question number 30 now an object of mass same initially at rest on a smooth horizontal plane surface moving with a uh, moving under the force of 2 newton in the process of linear motion the angle theta between the direction of force and horizontal direction uh, and horizontal bridge equal theta equal to kx where k is the constant and x is the distance traveled by an object from the initial position now look at this the expression of kinetic energy now gain in kinetic energy k equal to work done under the force 2 newton so look at this this is the 2 cos theta into dx is the work done now integration so this is the integration is the look at this this is the 0 to x okay no problem now look at this this is the 2 cos theta now this is the cos this is the kx into dx okay so look at this this is the integration of 0 to x okay now look at this this is the 2 into cos kx look at this the integration of cos, cos kx this is the sin kx by k now limit look at this limit is equal to this is the x to 0 so look at this 2 sin kx by k is the work done so look at this n is equal to this is the 2 okay understood understood Many many thanks for watching this video. This video will be extremely beneficial for you. Compared to the other half, this section is slightly harder. Okay? You have to solve this type of numerical to tackle the next main or advanced examination. Okay? Thank you.